All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And yes, uh, the time that Rachel will go enter the first conversation with our better guests. But for those on our way down there with me from beginning to now, I appreciate on our honor too much. And uh, so we they do on top of the Good Morning Ninja Show. From the top stories to our newspaper review and the time that Rachel look into our better conversation. Remember, say I talk so we get better person we're going to speak to this morning. Uh, we're going to talk to Sonny Irakbo, e e e now founder Silek Initiative. And we're going to discuss drug addiction amongst the Nigerian youth and a solution forward out of this. So make I uh, introduce to now Mr. Sonny. Sonny, you did here. Good morning. Hey, my guy. I feel grand, no. Correct. Good morning. Correct. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank All you so much, my brother. All right. So I always uh, use them as tradition to ask my guest, uh, honestly, how you did? Because you know, say pandemic day, a lot of things don't happen. A lot of uh, uncertainties and situations don't change. So honestly, how you did? Go, 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 go. My brother, we deal with a push up now. Hmm. Based on the new normal, everybody just did their trip. Hmm. You know, so that we can stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. Because now waiting we know they used to. So for the meantime, I know say we'll go back on this COVID nineteen. Yes, sure, sir. Sir. Not necessary. Nice one. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that uh, word of encouragement. He be like, a lot of people go like yeah. to hear that one based on say some of them if you don't even get hope again. But as you don't talk and it makes sense. So more we'll talk about the conversation we'll get today. We'll talk about drug abuse uh, amongst the Nigerian youth and the solution way forward. But more we even start. Uh, what do you go term as drug or substance abuse? What do you mean? Go on, go on, go on. You know, drug na any chemical substance. Mm. When we they use a treat any form of email. For example, now if you get headache, you need to take a particular drug so that that headache will leave you. Mm -hmm. Now drug be that. So any form of sickness when they your body, if you take drug, with the hope say as you take and the sickness go go. Then when we talk about drug abuse, we will come look at from the same way we say, if you they, if you get headache. You know, consult any medical doctor before you go take her. There is tendency to say you go abuse the drug. Mm. You understand? If mm -hmm. they make you take one, you go take two, take three, take four, you they abuse that particular drug. So with the, with the tell people say, for you to take any drug at all, you need to consult a medical doctor so that you can be properly guided. Mm -hmm. So the abuse one with the talk, when you take beyond the normal description, you're abusing drug. Mm -hmm. Then when we talk about the addiction, you know they seek. Sometimes you know they who they seek, they abuse. Now what is the apple now? We say, you know they seek, not if they do you. Mm -hmm. You can't they take that drug. Now that situation now we find ourselves for Nigeria. How young people when they seek, you know get headache, you know get stomach ulcer, you know get anything. You can't they go take that particular drug. Mm -hmm. And that was that one a better situation. Mm -mm. At all. In other words, those particular individuals, you won't cause problem for your life. So now what do we advise young people? Mm -hmm. So the addiction now, we say, instead of make you take, instead of make you eat food. You like taking drugs more than food. If they give you 10 naira, instead of make you spend eight naira for, for food. You go like spend that 10 naira for drug or take any form of substances to get high. Hmm. Now addiction be that. A situation where your where your system is conditioned to take a particular drug. Mm -hmm. Or what you they think now drug may be addiction. Hmm. And we they tell people, say this addiction, according to our experience in the US, addiction are three generation disease. Wow. In other words, if person papa now they are addicted to a particular drug, yeah, it means that, that particular addiction go be generational, three generation. I go nine that nine thing go thing affect. Go affect uh... Yes. So now what thing we they let people know say this thing what would they do so? Now because of our heads, that is why we they talk. The need for everybody to be cautious, everybody to maintain. A particular stand of saying no to drug abuse mm -hmm. within the youth, within our family setting. Now, what do we clamor for? Mm. So, having established that we know drugs that are certified safe for human consumption, yeah, and those who are where they're not certified safe. We talk about the legal and the illegal, yeah. 
When, the, when we talk about the legal drugs, we are talking about those drugs when they certify by the federal government of Nigeria through yeah. their agencies. Mm -hmm. When they talk about NAVDAC, NAVDAC certify this okay? As you take these particular drugs, your body goes and get well. Yeah. Those ones are the drugs when they don't approve. Then we now talk about the illicit drugs. Those of them are not even approved at all. But mm. people, they take them in the day. You understand? Those yeah. ones are illicit drugs. And then what the situation where we don't find ourselves today for this country. Even those drugs that are certified safe for human consumption. Mm -hmm. Now, those drugs are people they abuse. You know, they talk about those professional drugs like heroin, uh, marijuana. Mm -hmm. The common pain when people go take ordinary mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. People don't they abuse those drugs in the name of getting high. So, now that kind of situation, we don't find ourselves for Nigeria. And so, that is why some of us do not get close back for this matter. Because if we close back, Nigeria will be better into this monarchy. Hmm. So now, what we So, being on this platform, I will sensitize Nigerians. Okay. So, tell the federal government what to do. So, tell your people, say this life when you get to remember, say you, you go see face your evening life. Mm -hmm. Before you get to your evening life, when you go there, you a lot of sicknesses, which can be avoided at least your Age. That is why some of us are very, very focused in this matter. Mm -hmm. In order for young people to be informed about the dangers of drug abuse. Okay. So when we talk about drug abuse, men and women, yeah. they take them. In fact, statistics, according to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, that all talk say for every four legs, one is abusing drugs. For every four consider, ladies, one is abusing drugs. Yeah, hmm. yeah, to line up four ladies now, one of them, they, they have drug, drug addiction. Hmm. For the youth, for the young men, we don't see statistics stasis for every 10. If you put uh, six out of 10 boys, they are abusing drugs. Six out of 10 boys, they use drugs. Yeah, they are abusing hmm. drugs. And hmm. you know, say from the report when they don't submit to the federal government of Nigeria, Thank God, say, President Muhammad Wari said, he not took more for the matter mm -hmm. by putting up a committee to look, up, to look at the drug abuse issue. So the presidential committee in the nation of drug abuse in Nigeria, mm -hmm. when they don't report, give up, when I hear a corner, they tell them, say, see, oh, when the chairman, General Abuba Bawa, was addressing the press, he can't say, 15 million Nigerians, they are drug addicts. Hmm. If I don't establish the first a drug addiction, not three generation disease, make you see the kind of out of our we head, don't my put brother. Ourself. Wow. So as you don't give it's us this, good. this, this uh, proper analysis and description we don't give us so regarding this drug abuse matter, and you talk saying a three, yeah. three generational disease. So if the person start them yeah. now, Two generations after, it go still get tendency of say the thing go go, go trickle down. Now we go like ask, yeah. waiting be the waiting you feel say be the major the possible causes of this drug abuse where they happen. Why you think say the youth or one boy go just get up say ah now this one oh I feel say now be the way for, for me now now waiting I want you hand inside. What are the possible reasons why people they enter this issue? Why you think so? My brother, a lot of uh, predisposing factors. Mm. are responsible for, responsible for the drug abuse in Nigeria. Now, I will highlight some points. We okay. look at the environmental factor. The situation where somebody they stay in an environment where people they take out these drugs. Mm -hmm. There are tendencies for people to abuse drugs. We look at the biological factor. I don't tell you, say, if somebody where his papa they take drugs, if he give back to a child, mm -hmm. There is a tendency that that became said, he go there into drug abuse in the later round. Hmm. That is what they tell you, say, this drug is a three-generation disease. If it's a family, in this three-generation of that family go suffer for that consequence. Then we look at what I call the social pathologies. 
That social pathologist, now when they talk about, uh, they, when they look at uh, the unemployment. Okay. The ignorance amongst youth. The peer group pressure. Mm. And we also look at the rap materialistic consciousness of Nigerians. Get rich syndrome. And when we don't talk about that one, we also look at the decay value system. You know, say the kind of value we some of us say throw up with. Not be the same value with the streets of the brother. Yes, a lot of things if don't change. Generation now, don't they eat shit? That they eat shit because they won't make money. And that what you are doing with me, say, when will they grow? No kind of that thing we have to make you the issue because you don't get money. Mm. You know, for few use because of money. Go saw your family mostly for somewhere to disgrace the family. Mm -hmm. Whether the family get money or they don't get money, yeah. the name of the family is very, very important. You understand? So yes. everyone wants to preserve the good, the good name and, and legacy of each of the family. Mm -hmm. But today, as I speak with you, this moral standard and values, they don't die. Mm. And we talk about poor payment stage under the social pathology. So these are some of the factors that are responsible for drug abuse and addiction in Nigeria. When youth are not informed about the dangers of drug abuse, when ignorance still has the lack, there are no information either at the at the mainstream media, the social mm -hmm. media, mm -hmm. the billboard. All the digital format of passing across messages to people will not get those efforts again. Hmm. Then we look at the peer group pressure. Yes, when peer somebody group. Back, weak, weak moral that or moral upbringing. The tendency for that particular individual to be lured into drug is very, very high. Hmm. So if that individual has a very solid moral standard of yeah. values, yeah. family upbringing. Young people, peers in their, their age, they can easily lure them into what they feel say, and what they happen for. Yeah, now waiting the rain, now waiting they do. Yeah, mm. waiting the rain, now parents don't get time mm. for them. So now some of these things with the young people you know, say, a lot of things don't go wrong. And mm. even our government said, over the time, they never pay due attention to so give youth the needed attention they need. There is no reward system. Youth, when they work hard today, you go into university, you spend four years, six years, you come back from school, you don't get a job. Mm. One Yahoo boy for one place, when you just get one Mugu, we hammer. You understand? Those mm -hmm. boys like want to attack their mothers on those hard working youth, telling them, say, work hard, not be the team. Nigeria, no step you. And the government of the day they don't get reward system for hardworking you hmm. is also part of the problem. So if we must solve the problem of drug abuse and addiction in Nigeria, the need for the government to take this issue very seriously. I am calling on the presidents who don't demonstrate a father love by setting up this committee to look into the drugs. So also make sure say they must show the fatherly love yeah. to bring out the recommendation by this company so that we can get a headway for this matter. If not, mm. this matter when we they talk, you know get respect for you. I you know get respect you be true. religious a person. You know get respect whether you be black or white. You know get respect for nation. You know that the way we save us uh, that power of information and for the government to come part in very strategy to collaborate with people when they do it in this matter hmm. so that they feel no capacity to educate the people so when we talk about the solution i will bring you details no on how we can this problem no so that we can get back so uh, mrs right mrs sonny we, we, we know say you don't work with some people we don't did this situation you don't help some people so you could like tell us give us one instance or one case where you where you handle uh, and how the thing they be waiting the person they involved in how you take help the person come up for this process of uh, drug abuse and uh, drug uh, addiction if you give us an example of the one of the cases where you don't handle 
Yeah, my brother, make I tell you this shocking story. In fact, uh, let me reveal this. Now go on. This one I let you show. Okay. I tell you, what if people so they high and I go shock you. Mm. Even ladies, that they are they are far blood from menstruation that they abuse that they they, they hate them because they want high. Mm. If I tell you things, it go shock you. Then there was this particular lady. If you see how fine this girl, my brother, if the, if somebody tell you say this girl they abuse this kind of drug, it's in a lie. Mm. The girl come after I don't give the seminar. The girl come meets me, come they confess to me. Say see this particular drug, then they take. And if they take over 1,000 milligrams wow. of that drug as a spot. Wow. 1, over 1,000 milligrams. Milligram. 1,000 milligrams. A girl, not be a report. 1,000 milligrams of a drug, particular drug. Mm. I was shocked. Then I told her, I said, do you see the situation you are right now? Now only yourself goes, use your hand to save yourself. Because the mouth when bad take you out. Now you go say loser. Hmm. The willingness for that individual to first of all as, take the responsibility, say, please, I won't come out for this thing. Now it matter. I can't handle that again. I can't tell I can't the and canceling. Even on our social media platform, we don't come up with a master class in canceling. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Of abuse and addiction. And peer pressure management. Among the youth. Hmm. So now, when they I handle, I call the counselor that gets the scene. I was supposed to do with this. Mm -hmm. And I said, so, as I'm to you too, you need to have the solution. Say, I'm not going to do this again. Hmm. And it must be faith based. And I go to pray with you, say, you must talk for this thing. Hmm. You know, so, so please, when we talk, we say, make people stay out of drugs. Because at the end of it, you will sing Hadai see, uh, as a song. Usually, uh, in, in, a lot of times, when people they see drug addicts and people where they, they, they abuse drugs, they, they usually they tie them to upbringing. They, they say their parents not do correct work with them, then are why they begin to turn out to be, be like this. So, what do you feel to uh, talk about this one? Say, is it always the case? Say, if they see uh, Peking, we don't get issue with drugs or they're into this line. Now, because of lack of home training, how are you going to take a, 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 a explain this situation? What do you feel about her? Well, once, when we they grow up, we grow with this mentality, say, the only picking when you carry for Pele, now you feel called your own. Mm -hmm. But immediately you don't bond that picking. It becomes a community picking. What mm. does that mean? It means say everybody be correct that picking, that picking, they go wrong. Yeah. Today, those values are no longer there. But on a more serious note, parental upbringing is still in solving the issue of drug abuse. Hmm. You know, some doctor, you say social pathology, some we don't mention, yeah. where poor parenting is one of the factors responsible for drug abuse. It means that parents don't get adequate time to be with their children yeah. because of what they want that they do. So, and the value they need to plan for these young people, they are not planting the right values in these children. Yeah. Even at the community, community level, when we say, because of the, the mic when people carry, people not able to pay attention for that children again hmm. because they feel say no concern me. Because it concern you. If that particular kid tomorrow enter into criminality, become a drug addict, and at the end of it, he can become a robber for that same community, the lives of everybody for that Good community day in danger. is at Yes. So True. that's what they say. If you born picking, the training of the picking you know, is not left for even the parents alone. The schools have a role to play. The churches have a role to play. The community leaders, the traditional rulers, mm -hmm. and if even people that is just for ten years that some of us one day into this thing. Mm. Not be today. So mm. we don't advocate the main parents pay due attention to their children so that we feel solve the issue of drug abuse. If not, the society at large will be better into disorder. Because mm. building a nation starts with the family. Yes. 
You understand? If the family don't get a fight, the society has to be hmm. The leader of society will produce to be affected. So that is why we need to pay attention to planting the right values into our world, into our children. It's not good enough for to leave your children to make to be guard or to pay so that they can take care of. Because they're going to inject different values into these children. Exactly. You two, the parents, you have a role to play. Do you know that even made now, I get the video now when I show you as a boy of less than four months was being abused by a man of 38 years old. Wow. A man who, wow. Wow. You understand? This is so unfortunate. The issue of this thing is serious. Hmm. Okay. So we need uh, to demonstrate. At all level, in order for me to tackle the drug abuse it's problem. It's necessary. It's necessary. All right, Sonny, because of time, I would like me to give me the, the solutions where you feel say will fit put in place, sharp, sharp, to take settle this matter as it be so. Because of the time we get, we'll just rush through that one so people go understand. Yeah, the solution, yeah. the solution we say, one, because of the ignorance level, mm -hmm. there's a need for which to increase awareness about drug abuse in Nigeria. Okay. See what the government has demonstrated so far for this COVID-19 even baby of two years old, no way to COVID-19 be. Happy at that one. Yes, yes. So there is a need for the government to do the same thing. Therefore, we are our end. We don't just advocate for different models. As I talk to you, we don't put that our model. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the psychosocial model, the asset-based model, mm -hmm. and the replacement model, the drug replacement model. Okay. Under that drug replacement model, we don't put what we call campaign, pro campaign project skilling and reskilling. This project skilling and reskilling have to do with how we can use data skills mm -hmm. in engaging our young people. Because the level of unemployment is too high in Nigeria. And our youth that they find expression in different ways to exert energies. So on our own part, our select initiatives, we declare this uh, campaign project, project means skilling and reskilling mm -hmm. for young people to be skilled in barbing, yeah. make up and all those things. As I yeah. talked to you, that's our own project. So okay. we are telling every young man that is out there, that is looking for help, that they, they can also access this kind of help from us. We know the charge, it is free. Interesting. It is free. Interesting. So be running sensitization program. Mm -hmm. As I speak with you, this is on my birthday. So 28th of this month. Uh, be like say we just lost connection with Sonny. Ah, and I use an addition. Okay, he's back. All right, uh, Mr. Sonny, you hear me? Yes, okay, but I say we'll, we'll, yeah, they you. We, we'll lose you small for connection. Uh, but uh, before we wrap this up, uh, I would like to make you drop uh, your social media handle so that people go fit, uh, we get these kind of issues, go fit, come on there to you know, further the conversation with you. What's in your social media handle where they feel follow to get all this information? Well, that, that name when they see Sonny Irabo. Okay. They can follow me with Ambassador Sonny Irabo. Okay. Just put Ambassador Sonny Irabo for the back, then Sonny Irabo. Then I did for Twitter too, select underscore concept. Okay. Okay. Select underscore concept. Hmm. You understand? Yes. Makes we have sense. Labeled. Makes our sense. Email, our email too, they there. Mm -hmm. Select irabosoni in irabosoni at gmail.com. Mm. You okay. understand? Yeah. So with the part solution to because the issue of drugs, you don't get respect for anybody. Mm. Both young executives, everybody, some of them that they take out. Mm. Even the political space, many of them say they are involved in this. Mm. So we need to sensitize them and their children say they are suffering from this thing. Mm. So the uh, we say sickness when they for face, they're not the hide that. Mm. So All we right. need for every one of us to put energy together to make sure we solve this problem. It did very necessary. It did very necessary. So it did very necessary. For this match. We thank President Muhammad Buhari. Make you show that fatherly law as they fight corruption, mm -hmm. make also fight of drug abuse. Yeah. Because the youth are the most source persons Nigeria has. They are the greatest gift you can ever have. Exactly. Not be, not be, not be oil and gas, not be the agriculture, not this young school. Because now they go preserve the legacy of this country. Definitely. So that is what we tell President Muhammad Ubari Abeg, Mr. President. Please write your name in gold in the hearts of young people. Hmm. Because this drug abuse matter, as I talk to you, criminality is increasing. 
Cortism is increasing. Yeah. And unemployment because of all these factors. So we need to tackle this problem. And mm. government needs to back up people like us so that we can send this message across to young people at the grassroots level. Mm. And until the government on the streets understand the dangers of drug abuse through our psychosocial process, which we don't uh, convert about all the yeah. time. Yeah. Be able to tackle the issue of drug abuse and get the needed results. All so right. Like that yes, sir. So thank, thank Wazobia Mass we TV. We did. For mm -hmm. all this good work that they do so. Because media says they have a lot to do mm -hmm. in terms of tackling the issue mm -hmm. of what mm -hmm. abuse and addiction. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. look at a fine man like you now. If we get role model like you, I know they take drugs. Mm -hmm. See what you they do. People look at you now. Because they are serious you fresh. True. If you they take you feel fresh like this. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I see you as a role model that throw mm -hmm. your line. Mm -hmm. Because now they in head. He do things when they write. Definitely. And I want to thank all the Wasobia family for all the support mm -hmm. when we don't get all this. Thing. All right. I throw a look. Thank you very much, Sonny, for this conversation. It makes sense. And I know, say, with the, one of the uh, analysis we are always remember, and I see what you talk, say, out of every four girls, one, they take drugs, and out of every ten boys, six, they take drugs. This is a very, very serious matter, but it's good to say we get this conversation today. We could definitely come back again to talk about this on some other time in the future because as you take talk, I'm listening a matter with the last three generations ahead and a very, very serious yes. issue. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Sonny Rapport, for this uh, conversation today and have a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> All right.